Hey you guys and welcome back to my channel. If you are new, welcome. In this video, I am doing a set of Mitch Match nails and it's on a friend of mine that I met while I was in school and she messaged me and we made an appointment and she came to get some Mickey Mouse nails. She was getting ready to go to Disneyland like the very next day. So I was super excited to create this set for her. So I'm not sure if you caught it in the beginning, but this bit is a skiver cuticle bit is what it's called and it's from atwood industries i have that linked in the description box honestly most of the products and things at least always my favorites um, are linked in the description box if there's anything that you see that isn't linked just go ahead and leave me a comment down below and i will get that link for you so my next step for this set is taking my kiera sky mandrel bit and i'm just taking a sanding band i believe it's a 180 grit sanding band and I'm just removing the shine from her natural nail. For my next step, I'm taking a cuticle ball bit that can be found on my Amazon storefront. And I'm just taking this along with the other two bits and sanding band that I use. And this is just to remove any of that dead cuticle off of the nail plate and just make this process a little easier. I really do not like to use the cuticle nippers. And you can just cause a lot of damage and things like that and I honestly have only used it a couple times like here in this video she just had like one little piece of um, like a hangnail stuck there so I just kind of clipped it off but I needed to get that out of there or we would have had some issues you know with her set so yeah I'm gonna go ahead and take some nail tips that I bought from a local nail supply store you guys, I'm so excited and I forgot again at the beginning of this video because I had let a few of you know that I have some big news coming up. So I'm going to go ahead and tell you guys what that is. Um, I put a deposit down for a suite so that I can start doing nails once I take my test and get licensed and I will no longer be in my guest bedroom you know practicing and all that stuff it's going to be the real deal you guys so i'm super excited to be doing that and it's even more exciting because this nail supply store that i bought these tips from is literally right in the same little area so it's really exciting it's not going to be for a few more months though because it is a brand new location so they're kind of in the middle of building it and doing the construction things like that but either way i'm it gives me time to plan and you know get some clients together and you know just plan and prepare for when it's time for me to move in it's not something that you know i'll be moving in tomorrow or anything but um more like fall time frame so i'm just super excited to be sharing that news with you guys and just super happy that my plans are going accordingly because you know i did get out of the military and pretty much just you know let go of one career to just completely start over and start a new one so it's it's really good and i'm i'm just happy that i made that decision you know it's all seemed to be working out really good so i went ahead and clipped down her nails i'm taking my not polished 100 grit hand file and i'm just going to pre-shape these nails honestly you guys i feel like i file too much but uh it feels weird if i don't file too much if that makes sense so i pre-shape i go ahead and do the acrylic application i go ahead and reshape just a little bit um you know because i have you know my application is not 100 percent perfect i don't know that it ever will be but i get a little bit of spillage over the sides and things like that and i just want to try to maintain my shape as much as possible so i shape um a third time once everything is said and done so let me know what you guys' um, you know, filing process is down in the comments below. I would greatly appreciate if you guys share that with me. 
um, you know, we can all just kind of see because everybody does their own things. You know, you kind of just find your own ways to do things. So I'm just a little curious to see how you guys, you know, especially just whenever it comes to shaping. So yeah, I would greatly appreciate that. But I'm gonna let you guys finish watching this shaping part and I'll pop back in in just a few. All right, you guys, for my next step, I'm taking Valentino dehydrator and I'm gonna do one coat of that. And then I'm gonna go in with one coat of the Valentino primer. And then I'm also going to do one coat of Young Nails primer. So the girl that I was having, you know, I let her do my, um, or I didn't let her do, I requested her to do my graduation nails. This was just one of the things that um, she does. So I wanted to try it out and switch up the primer just a little bit. So here I am going in with the Young Nails primer. I do like to double prime. It's just a preference for me. It will just, you know, give me extra confidence in knowing that the nails are gonna stay, you know, put and not lift so there are some people that i do this step for and their nails still lift um so you know it's not like 100 percent guaranteed or anything but i do like to do that step so the next step i'm doing here or the step in my process is using glitter planets crystal clear and i'm just going to apply a thin layer of clear acrylic to the natural nail and over the tip of the nail as well and then we're going to go ahead and go in with our colored acrylic you guys in this step I'm gonna go ahead and start with my acrylic application this is um, blossom from Valentino it's one of their new colors and I wanted to try it out I definitely love this color it just wasn't the right color for me to use um, just to fully cover the snail it's kind of sheer so I just kind of you know put the majority of it 
closer to her cuticle area and then I'm going to end up using this OMG glitter acrylic from Not Polish and just kind of ombre that up from the tip towards the cuticle. So yeah, I just kind of figured that out during this process. I was like, nah, let me just go ahead and use it like this. This was also kind of like a freestyle set as well. Um, she just sent me a few inspiration pictures and then I, you know, just kind of went from there. So that's what, the, that's what we're going to go ahead and do on this step. The next finger, I'm pretty sure it's going to be an all glitter finger and then I'll pop back in for the middle nail. you guys so for this nail i'm using glistening snow from kiara sky it is a very bright white color but it also has some very fine glitters inside of it so it looks really really pretty up close um i'm not sure if you can see it on camera here hopefully i can get some good footage for you guys to be able to see that but yeah so i'm gonna go ahead and just ombre this um nail as well and then you know we're just gonna freestyle the rest of them so i'm not gonna bore you guys and you know talk throughout this whole video but yeah so i'm just gonna let you guys go ahead and watch this acrylic application i appreciate you guys watching and i appreciate your support so far congratulations again to my giveaway winners for my last giveaway i actually ended up picking a total of three giveaway winners because i just had so much stuff to give away so just stay tuned for another future giveaway I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys in my next one. And again, thank you guys so much for watching.